What's up guys? My name is Mad Squash924. Welcome back to another episode of Kona 2 Broom Part 6. Where we have to uh kinda go to this building that is um currently blocked off towards us. So we have to go down and around so it seems. But I want to go this way first. I think that's the current plan I want to do. Just to see what we can find. Because we're kind of at the point that we are doing a lot of exploration. I say that, but we do a lot of exploration in every episode that we do in this game. Um, and it's cool. I radio like it. message came back to mind. Survivors. Carl would finally get some answers. Yeah, that's true. We are looking for survivors. We'll have to be wary of some wolves if they decide to show up. And we'll have to be wary of possible Wendigos. I guess when to go. I think there's only the one. It's weird that he looks so different in this game compared to the first game. Maybe it's the same when to go. Maybe it's a different when to go. The sight so of stay this away black from that bear. Immersed Carl Fulbert in a distant. Let's pull this out just in case. Happy images of blueberry picking came back to him, as well as the routine presence of this skittish female bear that his grandfather. Mother used to expel from his plantation with great angry gestures. If I can help it, I'm not going to go out of my way to kill the animals. I would prefer if we didn't have to do that. Because I want to save as many rounds as I can. I grant that I do have a lot, but doesn't mean I shouldn't save on some rounds, no? What do we have here? Battery. Spare parts. A hatchet in case for some reason I didn't have one. I don't know why we wouldn't have a hatchet, but we do. It's not hard to find these things as long as you look around and use your eyes. Alright, let's go in this pathway. I don't know how much further it's going to allow us to go. It doesn't seem like it's going to let us go too much further because look at this. There's um, there's an ice wall. So we'll need climbing equipment to climb this as well. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure that's pinged with that icon. All right. It's time to go this way, I suppose. So I'm going to pull out the revolver. Don't know what we're going to find out here. Those wolves. So they are. That's what I mean. If we can help it. We'll avoid them. Looks like we're going to have to go down and around. Which is close to them. That one noticed us, but the others didn't. Seems like we can pass. This is cool. I like this game a lot more so far than the first one, that's for sure. The first one was cool, and had a lot of atmosphere to it as well. But this one is just more, in a lot of different ways. Even the exploration feels just better overall. You know? Okay, so we have a gate here. I presumed we weren't going to be able to proceed just because, like... We are supposed to go somewhere else, which is why I was going this way. Access card is required. I imagine we might find one of those at the location that we are supposed to be going towards. Man, 
And we're going to have to go all the way around and stuff, too. What we'll probably end up doing is we'll follow this pathway, see what the hell this is, too. And then probably go this way and then down and explore this whole section. I think that's what we're going to do. Where's the path? Right here? Okay. The atmosphere noises are a little bit creepy too, but it's cool. Get a save in. Oh yeah, we rotated. I forgot about that. Went full circle. Are you serious? Oh, froze at the creature's sight. Was it real? Or another figment of his imagination? Um, it's real. Without a proper Okay. You know what I'm gonna do Weapon now? Ooh. Nope, I'm gonna go this way. Defeat the creature on his own. It was best to run away. Yeah, hope for the best here, cuz uh holy shit. I'm gonna attempt to go in this house. Oh shit, it looks kind of not good for me, doesn't it? Shit. Oh, the fuck. detective sensed he had lost the creature, but for how long? Oh, I did lose him. Okay, good to know. So now I'm on edge. Wouldn't this turn into a horror game? That's really not good. Um, right. Let's start going back this way. I don't know if he's just going to be around now or if he disappeared. I'm not sure. Thankfully, the Wendigo does not know where we currently are. Hello. Is there anything on the roof? You can't even get on the roof. And I shot at it, too. Center mass, so, um... It's pretty invincible, it feels like. To be fair, in the first game, the Wendigo was also invincible. What I'm trying to do and see is if I can even see the Wendigo at this point. Let's go this way. I know we're supposed to go in that house, but I want to go this way regardless. Maybe going this way would be better for us. We can avoid Wendigo. Maybe the Wendigo is just going to confront us this way. I don't know. It's not good, though. It's kind of messed up that I have to be, like, looking behind me nowadays because of that. How many wolves we can deal with? And that first encounter with the Wendigo seemed pretty scripted, but is that scriptedness going to remain as is? Or is there going to be suddenly like random encounters with the Wendigo and he's just going to become a stalker enemy throughout the game? Because that wouldn't be cool. All right, we're coming up on another house. Not even the house I'm supposed to be at. But another house, nonetheless. Didn't think there was going to be a house even here. Cannot be opened. What the? Hello? Sled dog. This type of animal usually stayed in a pack. 
It was quite rare, especially this far north, to find them alone. That's interesting. Yeah, let's go this way then. I mean, we're supposed to go in this place, right? So... We'll go to that place after we explore the south section. There's a lot to this. This is a dead end, but I don't know where it goes or what it seems to lead towards. Maybe some items? Maybe nothing. Maybe a note? A person? Maybe nothing. Is that another sled dog? It is. Are hey, you good, dog? Maybe we are supposed to find the sled dogs later. What are these little symbolisms? Sled dog, sled dog, sled dog, sled dog. I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that we are supposed to come down here for the main quest for the sled dogs. And we just have to find them all. Am I correct in assuming such an assumption? Perhaps. You know what? Let's go to the main house. I was just going to go explore this way, but it looks like we're going to have to go back down this route anyway. And if that's true, then I really should be going to where we're supposed to go. And then I'm assuming we find the sled dogs afterward on purpose. And then I guess we could probably go this way. I don't know. I mean, I was going to just explore south, but with the game seeming to have us do like some sort of quest down there, then it seems prudent to just go to the main house, I guess, instead. Where we heard that signal. The sight of this hovel had an unforeseen effect on Faubert. The idea of finding, after so long, the reassuring warmth of a group of human beings ceased. Can't see another puppy. He was overwhelmed by it. Interesting. Let's put away our gun. C'est vous, Carl Faubert. Entrez. Okay. Just on Botanist Guide. Labrador tea and crowberries benefits on the body. Herbal specialist Monique Simard praised the stimulating properties of Labrador tea for combating fatigue. An infusion made from the leaves of this Nordic plant provides an almost immediate boost of energy. Its tannic aromas halfway between mint and fir resin are a great match for sweeter flavors. Adding honey or maple syrup makes for a tasty drink. The black crowberry also pairs ex excellently with Labrador tea, producing a combination of wakefulness and heat that's perfect for long days in the cold. All right. Yo. Say that again. Françoise vous attend à son bureau, à l'arrière. Clearly. I'll talk to you in a moment when I feel you are worth my time. Um. Ah. Let's use that safe point in a little bit. Ammo. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna loot your stuff. Yep, it's interdit to go there. Comme vous le savez, moi c'est Françoise. Je suis la responsable ici. What's going on here? 
Il y a eu une explosion dans un souterrain à la mine et depuis, on a la tempête, des avalanches et plein de choses étranges auxquelles j'aime mieux ne pas penser. Les routes sont coupées et on n'a ni électricité, ni signal téléphonique. Bref, ça pourrait aller mieux. What's the plan? J'essaie de rassembler autant de civils que possible, c'est la priorité. Ensuite, je vais m'occuper des ressources. Si vous voulez vous rendre utile, tentez de rendre la maison opérationnelle. Um, you know about Jules Demers? Jules Demers. Vous avez entendu parler de lui? C'est un scientifique qui travaillait pour Hamilton. Il est toujours en vie. Vous pouvez le trouver au nord-ouest d'ici, près des mines. Il étudie l'anomalie de la tempête. Si vous tenez à le rencontrer, je vous conseille de trouver de l'équipement d'escalade. C'est la seule façon de se rendre sans carte d'accès. Right. Got it. Et puis, Carl? So tell me about this house. C'est une bonne maison. Les fondations ont de l'âge, mais elles sont encore solides. C'est quelqu'un dans les premiers survivants que j'ai trouvé qui en a parlé. Comme quoi, son emplacement et le terrain aux alentours, c'était parfait pour tenir à travers une tempête. C'était la maison de ses grands-parents et c'est devenu notre lueur d'espoir. Yeah, la priorité, c'est de se protéger du froid. Il y a des vitres cassées et la boîte à fusible à l'extérieur fonctionne plus. Windows and fuse box. Il faut aussi le robinet dans la cuisine. On y arrive jusqu'à maintenant avec la neige fondue, mais au nombre de personnes qu'il y a ici, il nous faut de l'eau courante. Ok. Um, tell me more about this explosion. C'est un module central qui aurait sauté. Depuis, on voit des employés de HMC essayer d'en effacer les traces dans la région et on est pris dans une tempête inexplicable en plein mois d'octobre. Ceux qui essaient de partir se frappent au froid, à la désorientation, ils se mettent à voir... Ils disent qu'il y a une présence dans les bois. C'est pas humain, ni animal. C'est seulement octobre. C'est quite the storm. I mean the Wendigo. Je veux même pas y penser. Il y a quelque chose qui erre à l'extérieur, une genre de créature qui tue avec une violence que j'ai jamais rencontrée. On retrouve des corps gelés partout et il y a des éclaboussures de sang dans la neige. Oh yeah, sounds like the Wendigo. About Jules de Mayers. Jules était à la tête d'un projet de recherche secret de la Hamilton Mining Corporation. Il y a quelque temps après l'explosion, il est débarqué au refuge et il s'est mis à nous parler d'une piste de solution. Pauvre homme. Il avait l'air exténué, à bout de nerfs. Il est reparti le jour même et il est allé s'isoler dans la station de radio près de la mine au nord-ouest d'ici. Si vous allez le voir, essayez d'être délicat. Et apportez votre équipement d'escalade. Il a sans doute fermé la grille d'accès principale. Um, William Hamilton is deceased. Hamilton n'était pas aimé ici. Sa mort m'a pas surprise. Je travaillais aux ressources humaines et je peux vous dire que même parmi ses employés, ses projets dérangeaient. Ça dépassait l'entendement. J'en connais aussi suffisamment sur lui pour vous confirmer qu'on faisait bien de s'en méfier. He had projects as well. Hamilton creusait pour plus que du cuivre. Il y a des installations sous terre encore plus creux que la mine, des installations énormes. Mes accès étaient restreints, mais de ce que j'ai pu comprendre, HMC a découvert une nouvelle matière dans les années 50 et Hamilton a investi des millions pour l'étudier. You know Rendez-vous à Henryville, au sud-ouest d'ici. Il y a un magasin général où vous allez trouver tout l'équipement nécessaire. Gotcha. That is very helpful. Faites attention à vous, Monsieur Faubert. Thank you. Okay. So, southwest in a city. That's here. We have to go very far for the climbing gear. And there's other sections for climbing gear as well. What's this? That's where Jules de Mers is actually located. Okay. And imagine we need to see Jules de Mers to even get access to this locked gate to then leave to Iwi Watch Valley. That's interesting. There's also this area up here that we don't know much about. Okay. And then this house needs to be fixed up. We have to fix up this house. The kitchen is needs some assistance. There you go. Sink is running properly now, which is good. Up 
serait bien meilleur si elle était chaude. Si seulement on avait du courant. Great. A Canadian woman's cookbook. All right, we gotta fix some broken windows. Planks are required to board up the broken window. Okay. Where will we find... Ah. You guys can do this your fucking selves. Whatever. Hopefully I have enough. Sweet. Um... Any other broken windows that are left? There's also the fuse box, and he's some tender loving care and we have enough of that as well we've collected a lot of stuff playing this the fuse box has already been fixed nice i guess at this point um that's everything right hello more batteries any other broken windows take a double check no that's it that's everything. That was our inventory for... We have 16 still. That's not bad. Merci pour votre aide, Monsieur Faubert. Les réparations que vous avez faites vont faire une grande différence pour la suite. C'est une bonne maison. Les fondations ont de l'âge, mais elles sont encore solides. C'est quelqu'un que... dans les premiers survivants que j'ai trouvé qui en a parlé. Comme quoi son emplacement et le terrain aux alentours, c'était parfait pour tenir à travers une tempête. C'était la maison de ses grands-parents et c'est devenu notre lueur. I can't skip it. Well, faites okay. attention à vous, Monsieur Faubert. So their house is all fixed up, which is great. Hello, Hamilton's mansion. There's Henryville. Okay, so let's take a look here. So we were at. His mansion, we crossed the river, so we went way the hell up here. Okay. So this is where we're currently at. Emeryville's up there. This is where the mines are at. And I'm guessing Iwi Valley is probably the end game for this game. Right? This looks like we just explore up there and then escape. So it, that's interesting. So there's it seems if that's true, then there's like three different acts. There's this act. There's the act we're currently at. You go to the mines, then you go up there. That's cool. That's really neat. Let's see what else we can find in this house before we leave it. I don't know what the purpose of those coins are. Still. Okay, we already have a rifle. The game really puts out multiples of things in case you really do miss something, which is good and a little bit lazy. It's expecting not everybody to be as explorative as we have been for this Let's Play, right? The farewell letter, destined to his two children. Dear Lucy and Michael, I hope this letter finds you happy and healthy. I am taking the opportunity offered by this quiet evening to write you a few words and to announce that, to my great misfortune, a storm has hit Maniston. As a result, your father will have to stay longer in the far north, perhaps a very long time. But I don't want you to worry. I am safe and everything should be back to normal soon. But I do want to say a few things. Don't read into my tone and in any sign of unhappiness, but rather the weaknessness of a father who misses his family. Having such a beautiful Having such beautiful children has been my greatest pride and joy. Lucy, you are my oldest. You are a big girl, and I am confident that you will continue to help your mother. Michael, I hope you are taking care of your lessons. I know school is hard, but you must persevere. One day you will be a man. Do not hesitate to give your word and do not betray it for anything. Be generous with your efforts and take pride in your work. Find a woman and do not hesitate to give her your heart. The measure of a man is his ability to give himself to others. Also, do, don't do be too much of a scoundrel with your sister. In your prayers to Jesus, keep a place for me, Father who loves you greater than the great white north. Aw. Ah, little figurines. 
The Cowboys and Indians. More batteries. How many batteries we have? I feel like I have a lot. 37 batteries. That's kind of an overabundance, don't you think? Does the game think I'm going to be constantly having my flashlight on like the whole game or what? Probably. Oh my land out. We have 40 batteries. A cat lived here. So it did. More ammo. Not a good sign that there's so much ammo that they're giving us. Interesting. An old camera. Okay. This is the bathroom. That seems to be the extent of this building. Snow globe. Of Hamilton's estate. Marguerite and Marcel, October of 1954. So dead. So dead. So they don't have anything else really to say. Merci pour votre aide, Monsieur Faubert. Les réparations que vous avez faites vont faire une grande différence pour la suite. I'm hoping that's true. Faites attention à vous, Monsieur Faubert. Okay. Save. Okay. Well, I did just save. Do you think I could shoot them? Nope. Okay, so at this point, we are going to go south, I guess. I don't understand, like, we don't need the dogs at all for now, which is fine, I guess. We're technically supposed to be going this way. But I want to explore south regardless first. Even though we are supposed to be going this way. Across the cliff side. It just feels more prominent to f explore every possibility first. But I do think this is probably a good spot for us to end today's episode of Kona 2 Broom. Um, hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode. If you guys have, make sure you guys have a like. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think of today's episode, of course. And if you're new to my channel where you've been watching me for a little while and you haven't done so, feel free to subscribe to me, at Squash924, and don't forget to ring the bell to get notified of my latest videos. On the next episode, we are going to be exploring this whole south portion where all these sled dogs are currently located. Once we do that, we are going to be crossing this canyon to be going towards Henryville to find our long-awaited climbing gear that we need to go and see Jules de Mers. And it looks like that's what everything is leading to, really. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.